Okay, so next we're going to do the velometer, and this is used to determine the amount of edema present. So what you would do if there was only unilateral edema, you would compare the normal limb to the limb that was affected. So first you want your client to remove all jewelry, jewelry or other objects from their extremities. And this little bar goes into the thermometer, and where you put it depends on how long your client's arm is. So if you had a client with a really long arm, you would put it on the bottom. Whereas with our client here, she has a short arm, so we put it on the top. So next, you want to fill the thermometer with room temperature water to the point of overflow. Here. The point of overflow is just at this line here. So we're going to finish filling the volometer to a point of overflow. We're just going to let the excess water pour out. Okay, so now that we have filled our volometer to the point of overflow, we will position an empty container below the spout so that it will catch all the water. And you will ask your client to position their hand so the palm is facing them with the thumb facing the spout. You will instruct your client to keep their hand as vertically as possible as they and avoid contact with the sides of the volometer as they submerge the hand. And you want them to put their third and fourth digits in between this bar to where it goes to the joint. And you may have to move the container to make sure you don't miss any water. Okay, so next you want to get your beaker and you will pour the displaced water into the beaker to measure how much water was displaced. And you'll record the amount of water that was displaced, which was about 960 milliliters. 